Yo, what do you do, YouTube? Welcome to our video. This video, we're making a zero tick kelp farm. This is super efficient. It does roughly 80,000 stacks per hour. Insane. It's insanely quick. So, just so you guys can tell, I have nothing in it right now. Nothing in it. Okay, so when I start making this, we're going to turn it on. We're going to see how much it gets just to prove to you guys that it works. So before we get into this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as it would help this channel grow, and uh, comment down below what you want to see me make next, as I would take your suggestions and I will do them for you guys. So, this right here is the material you're going to need and their exact amount, besides, yeah, you're going to need 20 signs, and I'd recommend starting off with all the things in my hot bar right now so let's start making this so first off we're going to do is you're going to place a three by two area just like this and we're going to do two out like that break this block and break this block and break the middle block in the lower level and then place a torch so it's facing right here and then i'll oh, wait huh let me make sure i'm building this the correct way yeah i'm building it the correct way it's good Okay, so then we're going to build a level here, a redstone repeater there, and then a torch on the top and bottom. We'll extend this out by 10. And actually, you don't need one here. They're going to just kind of fill this whole area in with the redstone itself. Put a, another block right through here, all the way through, and just take your sticky pistons, go all the way through, just like that. Okay, let's turn this off, this is super annoying. Oh, did I just forget? I think I forgot to turn this on. Oh my god, I did. I said I was going to do it, I forgot. Okay, let's have it running. And then we're going to place a block out here. So that you can break this block and then just extend it all the way out. And then just place your sand right through here. And then you're going to place sand all the way on your pistons as well. And then you're going to do another layer on top. And then one layer of stone bricks. And then extend it out by two. Grab your chest. That is not a chest. I'm going to need those two as well though. Uh, we'll get our chest. And we're going to place it right here and here. Take your hopper and just go, hold on, uh, it's not connected to it. Go all the way through with the hoppers. Just because this is how we're going to make it, so obviously you're going to do that part. And then once you do that, you're going to grab your glass, which I just, you're going to need roughly a stack. Not exactly. Same with the stone bricks. It's not exactly a rough. Once you do that, you're going to just go up and put it just like this all the way around and then you're gonna kind of cover up this and then you do the same thing on this side cover up this area let's go up two as well which I should have gone up two when I was going over there but you know why would I do something like that because that makes sense you know then you're going to grab your observer block and you're going to get rid of your hoppers I guess you can because you're not going to need those anymore make it so your observer is facing inwards towards the sand Place another layer right through here. And then you're going to place your building block where right I'm back of the observer. One here. Another one extending it out. And then you can break this one. Take a repeater and have it so it's facing that way. Take a piston and make sure it's facing upwards. And then you're going to grab another piece of sand. Which I don't know if I did this. I think you're actually going to need couple extra pieces of sand. I don't think I did the math right for them. And then you're just gonna extend this out all the way and then you're just gonna fill it in with redstone. Once you do that, take your glass and put it right through here just like this and then take your regular piston and go all the way through. Once you do that, you're going to Increase your glass by one more layer. And 
And then you can take your water bucket, which you're going to need nine whole buckets of water. And you're just going to go all the way through here. Oh, shit. I forgot the signs, guys. Let's cover this all up. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of forgot something that was kind of necessary. Just a little bit. Whoops. So, yeah. You kind of need the signs for this to work. Just, just a little bit. They, they kind of help. You take your signs and just place them on the hoppers. Whoops. Shit. These are annoying to place. Okay, don't unshift. Whoops. Uh. Well, if you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Just to help us out. Oh my god. These have a really weird hitbox. I'm sure you guys noticed that, but they do. Okay, now you can take your nine buckets of water and place them all the way through. And then once you do that, you'll take your nine pieces of kelp. Go down, shift downwards, place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Booyah! Just like that. And uh, you're just gonna wanna cover this up. Because I swear, that helps it out so much. That helps out so much. And I actually attempted to make this earlier, but I forgot this layer of glass, and it broke the whole thing. Broke the whole thing completely. So, uh, once you do that, the thing's, the build literally done, so you can turn it on. Booyah! See, look at that. It's already working. Look how quick that is. That is insane. Look how many stacks that is. They're all full. This thing is so efficient. It's insane. It's insane. It takes in so much coke. You can't even hold it. This one chest, this one chest won't even be able to hold it all in an hour. Literally. You hit an hour mark and you're going to need more chests. So this, your storage system needs to be huge. Like, huge, huge. It's, it's insane. But, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as I'll see you all later. Bye!